right, you guys, we're here at the Midway at Canterbury Park. And let me tell you, they've got some cool stuff, new gadgets and cool stuff for snowcross fans. We're going to take a minute. We're going to go check this place out. Follow me. We feature tricked out, modified snowmobiles, mm -hmm. and we pair them up with professional swimsuit models. Mm -hmm. And we feature some of the, you know, the best snowmobiles in the business. Fox Racing Shocks has been around since 1974. We're the premier supplier of air suspension as well as many other kinds. It's the Pro Super Stock Final brought to you by Caterpillar. Well, it's a pretty staunch field. 15 drivers ready to go, 20 laps. Boy, check out the rain in the background there. This is racing. Well, they're green. Look at Bender. Bender got a nice shot on the outside. Oh, what happened there? Oh, man, Bender, see that? When he came down off that bump, he dropped his front ski over. He couldn't maintain it. That cost him two positions. Well, it gave Tucker a chance to work out front, but look at that. Well, a couple of Artie Katz, that's Bowerly and Ebert get together. Then he lands in front of Lavalli. That basically tied up everybody. Oh, man, now look, who does that leave out there? Bender's up there in second, holding on to with Hibbert out in front. Can he chase him down? Well, it's going to be in... Look at that, Danny Ebert now getting together with Brett Bender. Boy, check it out here, look at this. Here's Bender up inside. Bender's gonna take a hit on the inside, right up in his left foot from Danny Ebert. Man, that really is some tough, tough racing up in that corner. Well, Tucker Hibbert out in front. Can he find pro win number 52? Hibbert leads them around. It's still Ebert in second and Bender in third. You know, we got two racers in this race right now that are not only racing for the podium, they're racing for some extra cash. That's Carl Shabitsky and Paul Bowerly. That's on our pro privateer program. So if you're the first finishing privateer that's not on a factory team, first place gets an extra cool $1,000 thousand dollars besides the podium well even if you don't win that sure helps them as a as a privateer yep you can get that money with or without being on a podium all you have to do is be the first finishing privateer and you get the thousand you're gonna pay back five places take a look at these shots you see our lenses with the rain on it we've had miserable weather here today but these drivers doing the best holding on out there this is tough racing out here think about the rain now it's in your goggles you can't see your handlebars are wet your gloves are wet you're slipping off the throttle you can't grab the break it doesn't get tougher than this Hibbert right now about 28 some seconds ahead checkered flag is out as we look at our telemetry he comes across captures pro win number 52 by almost 32 seconds here are your winners in the pro stock final brought to you by Caterpillar let's send it down to Misha Johnson <laughs> the season has been up and down I've kind of been all over the place so I'm definitely excited to be back up on the box uh, it's been about a race or two, so uh, it's definitely nice to be up here. I'm trying to go a little bit slower and stay on my sled, and it's starting to work out a little bit. Happy to be back on the ISOC circuit here. Uh, always, always a good time, and um, yeah, our Artie Cat was ripping today. Our whole team was working really hard, and um, we've been putting forth a lot of effort, and uh, effort shows. It's hard work. That's all it is. I mean, uh, I got beat fair and square a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to come back here and, and uh, show everybody that it wasn't it wasn't going to happen again. I'm going to try not to let it happen again. <laughs> well, Tucker is indeed back. And up next in our pit pass, Misha is standing by with a special guest. Here's a little hint. Father knows best. Hi, right, everyone. We're, We're here with, with Kirk Hibbert, Hibbert, of course, Tucker Hibbert's, Hibbert's dad. dad. Now, now, let's have her noms for a little bit. bit. I, I would assume, assume going 22 laps around these tracks, tracks is not easy. easy. So, so what, what do you guys do to make, make these sleds so comfortable? comfortable? Well, well, each, each driver's, driver's got, got his own, own preference in ergonomics, and, and uh, you know, they're, they're, they're somewhat similar for all of them, but each one's, one's a little different. Uh, they take Tucker's letter, hand guards, hand guards uh, you know, and, and it's two, two functions. functions. Keep, keep the cold, cold off, but the problem more than that is to keep the snow and the wet off. Uh, so, so he runs, runs the hand guards. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different grips. Tucker has changed this year, went to a softer grip, grippier. He found, he found that he can hold on better when the snow does get on, on it, and that uh, keeps, keeps it really slick. Um, and then you come to feet, uh, grippers, grippers here, you'll see grippers on the side, side. That's so they can squeeze and actually lift the sled with their legs to help get it over an uh, obstacle or a uh, level, level sled in here. When the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series returns, it's the Pro Open Class Final. Will Tucker Hibbert hold on to the top spot in the box? Before you head onto the road, take 30 seconds, walk around the trailer. Take a look at such items as the functionality of the uh, uh, turn signals and running lights on there. 
Take a look at the tires. When was the last time you checked the air pressure on it? Certainly, take a look at safety chains. Take a look at your wiring connections on there. Follow these simple tips, and I can assure your next outing will be a lot more trouble-free and certainly a lot safer.